Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So in last week's latest beta channel insider build, 22635.3566, we also get three hidden features that have been spotted that weren't officially listed by Microsoft in the release notes. And I posted on that beta build earlier today, and I'll leave that in the end screen. Now, hidden features, as you may well know, um, is code that Microsoft is working on internally and yet hasn't released and rolled out for official testing. But there is a good chance, as we have been talking about on the channel, that a lot of these hidden features do even make it to the stable version eventually. So a couple of extra little features that could make their way into 24H2. And all of these have been spotted by Phantom of Earth over on X. And all of these can be enabled using the third-party app VAF tool. Now, just to jump straight in, if we just head to the first, and this is an improvement, as we can see, that uh, is coming to the File Explorer tabs with the option to duplicate a tab from the right-click menu. So you just uh, basically right-click on that, and you can duplicate a tab, which I think is a nice move. Let's just see that one more time. So you just right click, duplicate tab, and it opens up exactly the same tab. So if you're multitasking, I actually think that is a step uh, in the right direction. And that's the first of three hidden features we are looking at today. And then the next one uh, is regarding uh, TAR 7Z and RAR file support when it comes to archive and um, different archive support and so on that um, is already available in recent Windows 11 versions that let you open 7Z, TAR, and RAR. Now, in last week's beta build, um, it also contains a hidden feature that lets you enable TAR and 7Z compression in File Explorer. So if we head back to the next little video clip by Phantom of Earth, yeah, we can see that in progress. So basically, once enabled, you can right-click a selection of files, and you can click Compress to, and you can select the format you want, and over and above that, you can also click More Options to open a wizard with additional features, such as compression, method, or level. So um, I think if you are really um, compressing and archiving files, I think that may be a nice move in the so-called direction as well. And that's the second of three new features um, that were spotted as hidden features. And then the last one, just for the purpose of this video, which I have been posting on previously, where um, I have been posting that uh, Windows 11 24H2 could include a new all apps grid layout. We're currently uh, in the stable version. We still get the vertical uh, layout and um, basically, it's going to get a better new all apps grid layout in the start menu, very similar to what we get over on Chrome OS and in some Linux distros. And if we head to that last little image, yeah, we can see that there is a new work in progress for the start all apps grid view update. And um, the, new, the new view now shows folders with a couple of little visual tweaks. Now, previously, as I posted... And I'll leave this video in the end screen. The new Start All Apps Grid View now groups apps by letter. So over and above that, we can see now, over and above grouping them by letter, it now features folders, which I actually think uh, is a step forward. And I actually quite like the new grid layout. I think it saves a lot of wasted screen real estate here to the right-hand side. And it would be nice if Microsoft could give us the option to resize this start menu in Windows 11 so we could really compress that down uh, eventually. But yeah, that still remains to be seen. But nonetheless, um, as mentioned, those are just three hidden features that have been spotted in last week's um, beta channel build. And as mentioned, hidden features aren't official features, but there's a strong possibility that that is code Microsoft is working on internally and could roll out um, for official testing in up-and-coming preview builds. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.